On many occasions, you need to stabilize the oscilloscope display by employing edge triggering. Let me show you how that works. Here I have a resistor, capacitor, inductor circuit with an input driven by a pulse type source, and I'm interested in the output taken right here. I'm displaying the input on channel A and the output as a separate color on channel B. Let's see what we have going just with the default settings on the oscilloscope. So let me adjust the time base a bit and also the volts per division on both channels. And I'm principally interested in the behavior of the output, which is the cyan colored trace. Now, of course, you could stop the simulation and uh, simply scroll through the previous history. But if you are interested in, in being able to stabilize the display without stopping the simulation, engage edge triggering down here with one of the modes. This is the one that's called normal triggering mode. Some of the parameters for the trigger edge, which are placed, or the edge point is, is placed at the far left. And I can adjust that position here just a little bit. Notice I can choose which edge is used for triggering, either positive or negative. At this point, I can change my time base and clearly see the behavior.